Hey everybody, Anne here. And Papa. <laughs> I gotta go into town early today because it's gonna get hot again and I can't take Papa with me in the truck because even right now it's like, I don't know, it's too hot to keep a dog in a truck. So I have to put him in the tiny house while it's still cool, go out and do my stuff and come back home. Um, one thing I gotta get is ice and ice is becoming really essential during the warmer months, not only just for me, but for the rabbits. The first thing I gotta do is fill this thing up to the top with ice. There we go. And I'm gonna get them a little bit of extra ice too, in a bag. That little thing back there is to keep the bunnies cool. They lounge next to it. I learned this from Lena from Red Road Homestead. No, don't come out. And she just takes a thing and fills it up and freezes it and exchanges it. Well, I can't do that. So I just have to fill it with ice and it'll keep them cool for a while. And I just put a few ice cubes in their water so that they can have some nice cold water to drink. Looks like they didn't finish their breakfast. Cute bunnies. Yeah, this basil is getting pretty tall. So, and it looked like it was trying to form some flowers on the top. So I'm gonna cut a little bit of this off and dry it out. Man, frogs, I got a ton of frogs this year. Hi, little froggy. What are you doing, hiding in my oregano? There we go. I think that's enough for now. Hopefully it'll bush out a little bit more. And maybe harvest just a little bit of this peppermint too. I don't know, I think I'm gonna let this sage go for a little bit longer. Just let it grow really big and then I'll harvest some. Oh, look at my buddy still hanging out over here. Hey, froggy. Those daffodils are not gonna flower and they're looking kind of unruly, so I'm just going to cut them down to the ground, and I will likely dig up the bulbs and plant them somewhere else eventually. Um, maybe I can plant something else there. I got my first two fresh herbs drying, and oh my goodness, if you could just smell what I'm smelling, it smells so lovely in here. I got another frog here. You better run, because the chickens will eat you air conditioner. I kept it stored completely encased in plastic so hopefully nothing got up in there and did bad things. So it's time to get it inside the tiny house. And it's in. Yep, it was perfectly clean. No critters in it. Very very happy that I packaged it the way that I did. I've just got it on fan right now and it'll run a fan off my solar so that's awesome. I gotta get the generator cord hooked up. Uh, and brought inside the tiny house. I can't remember. I think I took it in through the kitchen window. But uh, yeah, so all I did is I put some weather stripping. There are little cracks and I didn't do this last year um, and I regretted it because you know little flying things get in. So I just stuck some of this up here and put some underneath and around the sides where it didn't fit absolutely perfectly. But this is so wonderful. Oh my gosh. I've got it on low fan, low cool. So let's see how long it lasts on my solar. My solar is full right now and the inverter is not <laughs> making any weird sounds, so I'm gonna kick it up a notch. A few notches. Let's see how it goes. 36 degrees in here right now, so I'm gonna close all the windows and I'm going to just see how long it'll run on my solar and cool this place down. Look at this boy. I've been calling out to him to come inside where it's going to be cool in a little bit. He won't do it. I think he's afraid it's going to get too hot in there. <laughs> Look at him. It's been going about five minutes and I turned the fan up to full bore. I turned the cool up to full bore. I can feel the cool air coming in. My solar started at like 13.8. Um, and the sun is coming down on the solar panels and it's now down to, it keeps fluctuating between 12.5 and 12.6. So I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe I'll be able to run it just a little bit, a little bit on solar. Any little bit helps for me not having to buy more propane. Believe me, look at me, I'm, I'm sweating. But 
It's already down to 84 degrees in here. Yay! But to come in, and it's down to, let's see, 82 degrees, and it's been going for about 20 minutes. The inverter fan just came on, and it's down to like between 12.1 and 12.2, so I'm going to let it run for a few more minutes, but then that's going to be it because I don't want it to go any lower. I really don't like it going below 12.3. But it gave me 20 minutes of cool, so that's awesome. So now I need to go outside and hook the generator up. You know what? I'm almost inclined to, I don't know, put it in the other window. I already did all that work in the weather stripping. Nah, I'm just going to leave it. I had to shut it down because it was, it was bottoming out my solar, and I don't want to do that. But I'm surprised that it... Let it run it all. The way that I've got my solar set up, it's different charge controller, and um, I've I've done something with the batteries. Um, last year I couldn't run hardly anything on my solar, but this year it's it's a little different. So uh, I'm just glad though. 20 minutes, 20 minutes, not having to fire up the generator. That's good. So it's got the fan going right now. It's 82 degrees in here. I'm just going to sit and enjoy this for a little bit and go outside and do some stuff. I haven't even watered the plants yet. I'm out here watering and I notice this big tomato plant is actually two tomato plants. And I don't think I should keep them both in there. I don't know if I should just cut it, snip it, one of them. Or if I should try and transplant one of them. The only thing is the roots are going to be intertwined. So they may both end up failing if I mess with them. I don't know. Tell me what you think I should do. I have done every single last chore that I need to do. You can hear the generator going in the background. I'm going inside. I'm closing everything up. And I'm going to cool off. It's 88 degrees in here. Oh, it's like a hot box. I'm sweating. But it's cranked up. And within 10 minutes, it's going to be 5 degrees cooler in here. And after that, it's going to be even cooler. I got all the windows shut. Oh my goodness. That generator and this here air conditioner, such a blessing. Such a huge, huge blessing. See that garbage can right there? I wanted to put the spigot in the bottom of it, but you know what? But I couldn't find the spigot. Well, first of all, I couldn't even find the hole saw, saw thingies, and then I couldn't find the bit that goes in the hole saw that you got to have or else you can't do it. Well, I found the right size bit and I found the, the little thingy, um, whatever you call it. But then I couldn't find the spigot. I looked everywhere inside the tiny house and I don't know, it may be, it may be in my toolbox, in the truck, it may be in the shed, but I am just, whew, it is record heat. <laughs> Definitely wasn't this way last year, so. But the good thing is, is um, I've got the air conditioner and I'm going to go turn it on in a little bit and just relax and cool off. But anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.